Hello guys, here's JNM with a new video for Godot 3.1 Alpha and the third person shooter demo. I want to show you how to download and get started with the project that you can get from this GitHub page. First of all you need to install Godot 3.1 Alpha from the nightly builds. Here you can see the links on this page and what you need as well is git lfs. You need this git extension to download large files. So I click the link and we come to the git large file storage page. And here's a download button for my OS which is Windows. After installing this, you have to type git lfs install to your command prompt. So I open this, I type in cmd and then git lfs install and after that you should be able to clone your repository using git with large file support. So to sum it up, clicking this green button and then downloading the zip will not work. What you have to do is to clone this repository by using git clone after installing lfs. Ok and after that you will have all the files you need and you can open Godot and import the project. After opening the project then you have to wait a little bit and when you start it you see the startup menu. Here you can define settings for the game, for example global illumination, anti-aliasing, screen space, ambient occlusion and resolution. Now I hit the play button, the game is started and we can see a little bit of gameplay. A new background audio is started. And then you can move the player with the WASD keys through this environment. My graphic card is a GeForce GTX 1060. So this is not a very high-end graphic card, but the game, even though it is started in the Godot environment, is running really smooth. It's a bit slow for my taste, but this is not due to a performance lag. This is just the speed that is set for the player, but this can be changed. Ok, now let's search for an enemy. There are several robot enemies added to the level. And then we can test the shot. Oh, this is lagging a bit. Let's shoot again. This could be a kind of caching problem, we will see. Oh, nice explosion here. And the robot parts are lying around with colliders added. Really nice. Alright, here's the next enemy. Now there is no lagging when the laser gun is fired. And I really like the emissions and the shadows. And I think that's a quality for 3D games that we haven't seen in Godot before. Ok guys, I would like to stop here, but what I also want to show you in this overview are some points in the level that you can use to get started with the project. In the start menu, for example, you have this play button. There's a signal assigned for pressing the button, and this will lead us to the code in which the game level is loaded. Here's the on play pressed function, where the main menu is hidden, the loading text is shown and the load timer is started. And when the load timer is timed out, the game scene called level.tscn is loaded. Now we can open this level in the 3D view of the Godot engine and when you hold your right mouse button down and use the WASD keys, you can move around in this environment. So let's find the third person player, the robot, which is also a good starting point. I select the object in the scene tree and then I press F to focus. The robot has a script assigned, which is really useful if you want to write a third person player controller. 
you can reuse it for your own characters. I won't go into detail for this because this video is just an overview, but in one of the next Godot tutorials we can use and analyze this. What's also really interesting is the scripts that are attached to the enemies, really useful for animations, collisions, and AI. Okay, that's it for this short overview of the Godot 3.1 third-person shooter demo. Let me know if there are some special topics that you are interested in, and then I can create a tutorial for this. If you like this channel, then don't forget to subscribe, and perhaps you consider supporting me as my patron, this would really help this channel grow. Thank you guys for watching this, thanks for your support and I'll see you soon on JNM.